Daisy Khan, the director of the American Society for Muslim Advancement, created the Women's Islamic Initiative in Spirituality and Equity, known as WISE. Launched in 2006 by the American Society for Muslim Advancement, it is a global Muslim women's network and movement to show that Muslim women are active in their communities and that Islam positively inspires their activism. Daisy is introduced by the host of NPR's Latino USA, Maria Hinosa. Daisy, you are being awarded. It's your turn now. Thank you very much. If you can hold that. Um, I wanted to thank Rita for not only uh, giving me this honor, but also really propelling me on my journey. Rita called me, um, I think, three, four years ago and said, I'd like you to write an article on Islamic feminism. And I was a little stumped because I didn't know what it was. All I knew was that it was an embodiment of me and myself. So I did some research and realized that uh, the Prophet Muhammad uh, was a feminist himself. And uh, he gave uh, rights to women. He uh, you know, uh, was surrounded by feminist women. His wife, who was 25 years his senior, gave him his first job and then proposed to him. And um, of course, uh, she, uh, she mar he married her. And uh, subsequently, he became a prophet. And uh, she supported him. He, she, was the, she was the first philanthropist. She supported him during his prophecy. And um, later on, I discovered that besides all these great exemplars in my life, I also have been um, shaped and molded by many models in my own personal life. And the very first one was my grandfather. Uh, I was born in Kashmir uh, on Friday the 13th. Uh, I was born after two daughters, and I was supposed to be a boy. Can you imagine a third daughter? What a disappointment. Anyway, I was a major disappointment to some in the family. And what happened was, when I was born, my grandfather was so angry because the whole house was, was in mourning, he kind of lifted me up and said, this child is a gift from God and she'll be treated equally. And then there's the other model that I have, which is my grandmother, who was a, not only a saint, but really a spiritual teacher. She used to teach men and women. And I witnessed her uh, and by, you know, teaching men and women daily uh, and, and uh, so much wanted to aspire to be like her. My mother, who uh, was the embodiment of unconditional love, who sent me to the United States at the age of 15 to pursue my dreams. My father, who taught me sports, because with sports and being an athlete, he knew I could overcome any, uh, any kind of difficulties and I could win and be the, be the person that I can. And when I landed in America at the age of 15, I was blessed with a surrogate mother. A woman who was not only a professional woman, who was a confident woman, financially independent woman. And this woman taught me how to be confident in my religiosity, in my activism. And actually, I'd like to, um, um, the camera to go here and show that woman right here, Dr. Arfa Khan. I'd like to recognize her role that she played, that she played in my life. It's all about sharing the power, ladies. So today I dedicate this award to the many heroes and the many sheroes that have come in my life. And I just want to say one other thing, and that is that women have been struggling everywhere. And our struggle and our history is one history. You know, there have been five heads of state that have been Muslim women. And we're still struggling, struggling to have a woman here as a president. So it just goes to show you that we're constantly struggling for the same things everywhere in the world. And I know this is our moment, and our moment is ripe for change. And I believe that I, I personally am glad to put wise women in the middle of this struggle, because I would like to see the day when women are no longer seen as a burden to society, but as an asset to society. Thank you very much. All right.